There's something so exciting, and I don't know why, about getting a new handbag and putting all your things into the pockets. I still get a deep thrill, <laughs> even today, 20-something years on. <laughs> I wasn't ready for those sleepy days to end. Ever since I was a child, you always loved little sort of compartments and drawers and handbags and zip pockets, and it's always been sort of very appealing to me. My first memory of handbags was, I think I was about 16, and I was given an old handbag of my mother's, and I remember how it made me feel. I remember that incredible excitement at um, how a handbag is really mood-altering and sort of mood-changing. In my last year at uh, school, uh, an old girl came to talk to us, and she was in the fashion industry. I remember thinking very clearly, I want to do that, that's really exciting. And I went back to my room as a boarding school, and I remember drawing my first shop and being very clear I wanted to do that. Felt it too. When I was 18, I chose to go to Florence in Italy because it was very much the home of leather goods and handbags and, and that whole industry. I guess it has always influenced um, what I do. All of our skins are Italian. We work with so many different types of craftspeople. And depending on the region of Italy, you get a very different signature and handwriting. The new collection is um, is, is something that I've, I've really enjoyed working on it. For me, it has to have those two things. It has to be exciting. When you pick it up, you just go, oh, I've got to have it. It's that absolute, you know, where you suddenly think, no, I wasn't meant to buy a new handbag, but who cares? As well as that, um, I think it's very important that they work and they, they help your life. You know, women are so busy, we all travel with, you know, schlepping, trying to be good parents, trying to be good business people, trying to do all the right things. And I'm sort of obsessed by labeling, <laughs> actually. I think I, they always say, when, you, when your life's out of control, you need to control. So I guess that sort of speaks volumes about my life. I'd label my children if I could. <laughs> I think uh, eco design is very important. I think it's become a sort of theme which, in a way, is it's distracting perhaps. I mean, we were very um, passionate um, about the way we could use our platform in fashion. So we did a project, uh, I'm Not a Plastic Bag, which is, you know, is a big deal. Um, but we realized that fashion is very influencing, so we wanted to use our platform to, to help with that, that cause. For me, humour is absolutely essential. I think that fashion, whilst being a very important industry, it doesn't save lives. You know, it's to make women feel better, it's to make women feel confident. I think that I would want to keep myself in check about not taking myself too seriously. So I guess there's an element of that in, in the design. I am a business ambassador for, for the, the government, which is not a, gov not a political role, but it's just simply trying to promote um, British business overseas. And I'm a passionate Brit, so it's a very um, easy and natural role for me. I literally love my life, my role, my job. It's, I feel very, very lucky, and it's important to, to know that. And I think to encourage someone else to start a business and have as much fun as I've had is, is, uh, is a really, it's a privilege.